People just love to complain, don't they? Now that the dust has settled on Batman v Superman, people have made their very mixed opinions. We move on to DC's next extravaganza, Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad is probably my most anticipated comic book movie of 2016, mainly because Harley Quinn has been my favourite character since the animated series of the 90s, and I could not, could not think of a better artist of Margot Robbie to bring her to life. These days, people are more interested in vigilantes and anti-heroes than clean-cut heroes like Superman, for example. People want to see characters that are more relatable to the average Joe. With the recent success of characters like Marvel's Deadpool, people are looking for a little bit more comedy and a lot more violence in comic book adaptations. So far, we've seen two very tonally different trailers. The first one was quite dark in keeping with the tone of Batman v Superman, and the second one was a lot more light-hearted and things we might expect from characters like Harley Quinn. Mm, she's just crazy. What was that? I should kill everyone and escape? Sorry. The voices. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's not what they really said. As usual though, comic book fans love to complain about the depictions of characters from their favorite comic books. In general, people seem okay with the direction of the characters, but the one that has been a particular topic of discussion has been Jared Leto. When Jared Leto's look was initially revealed, the internet blew up on what seemed to be a more negative response than a positive one. People complaining about the tattoos, the grill. He looks like a Mexican gangster. And then you've got Harley Quinn, who's been a little bit less controversial in terms of complaints, but Harley Quinn gets a new outfit about every 12 months, so it's expected that she would get a different look for this film. But back to Jared Leto. Jared Leto is a great actor. Anyone that's seen any of his films can agree with that. If you've seen Dallas Buyers Club or Mr. Nobody, which by the way received a 10 minute standing ovation at his premiere, that's pretty good going, right? Nobody ever said that the Joker had to have a fancy suit. That is how he's most often portrayed, but there has been instances where he hasn't, such as Grant Morrison's depiction of the Joker, where he was topless and really, really scary. And as far as the tattoos go, it's not the first time. Also, Batman and Robin had a tattoo Joker. Big dragon on his back, if you remember that. After Heath Ledger's phenomenal performance in The Dark Knight, people have been associating him solely with the Joker. Now, I'm not trying to bash Heath Ledger's performance or anything, but we never did find out how he got those scars. Three different stories, none of them quite added up. I know he's supposed to be psychotic, but that really pissed me off. Why so serious? Now, all joking aside, people need to get over Heath Ledger. He was perfect for the Nolan verse and he gave a phenomenal performance, but this is a different universe and a different take on the DC universe and one that Heath Ledger ultimately probably wouldn't fit into as well. Heath Ledger gave us a completely different depiction of the Joker, one that ultimately didn't follow the comics very closely, but people loved it. It wasn't accurate, but people went mad about it. Now Jared Leto is following the comics a little bit closer, people don't like it. Leto is a very established actor and I had no doubts about his ability to pull this off. He brings his absolute all to every role he's ever had. Dallas Buyers Club, he became pretty much anorexic, shaved his whole body and became, in his words, very sick. And for his role in Chapter 27, where he played Mark David Chapman, the man who shot John Lennon, Jared Leto put on a lot of weight for that role. Now, you've seen Jared Leto, right? Guy's ripped. If I had Jared Leto's body, I would not want to make myself fat. Suicide Squad is made up of mostly lesser known characters to the general public, but everyone who follows comics or eagerly follows movies seemingly knows about this film. Hopefully Suicide Squad will please the old fans, bring in new ones, and we'll all be happy comic book fans together when the film's credits roll. So what do you think? What are your thoughts on Jared Leto after everything we've seen so far? Are you going to see the film when it hits big screens on August 5th? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.